What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the shop. Now I have a nice, short, handy little project for you. Another tool making video. So making a rebate plane or a rabbit plane out of a piece of timber and a chisel. And it works quite well. So it's just a piece of maple with a nice walnut wedge from a piece of scrap that I had lying around. And uh, I needed a rebate plane on a couple of projects that I've been working on lately. And I didn't have one. So I said, why not try and make one? I've made a couple of tools already like jack planes and mallets and they've turned out quite well and uh, there's a great pleasure in using your own tools and uh, this one works pretty good needs a small bit more fine tuning but uh, yeah it's not too bad so without further ado let's make a rebate plane let's do it okay guys this is the piece of material we're going to be using it's a piece of maple um, i've just machined it down from a piece that i had so it is 10 inches by an inch and a quarter and we're going to be using a 12 mil or half inch chisel so that will sit in just like that so we have plenty of meat left over because we will be recessing a section out of this plane to take this chisel so we don't want to have it too narrow otherwise it could risk breaking it so if you're going to use it like a bigger chisel like a three quarter or an inch chisel make sure that you leave plenty left over just to keep a bit of strength in your plane right so let's get marking this thing out then so this is the back of my plane so we call that the heel and this is the front so I've measured up seven inches to this point and just drew a line at 45 degrees that's going to be the bed for my chisel to sit on now we want to establish another angle for our wedge piece and I've just made a piece out of a piece of plywood here it's just a ratio of four and a half to one so for every unit of measurement for every four and a half units of measurement that come this way, I have to go up one unit of measurement this way. So it's four and a half inches plus four and a half inches, which is nine inches and up two inches. So simple. Cross nine and up two. That establishes the correct angle that I need. And uh, yeah, we're going to mark that on this now. So I've also marked back an inch here. I want to let that protrude a small bit. And the rain would have to start. So you're probably hearing the rain in the background there, but there's not much I can do about that. So... There we go. I'm going to line that up with the bed of my plane. Leave it protrude about an inch. That's where I'm going to start my angle. And just mark that. Just like that. Now, what we also have to account for is the chisel itself. So as you can see, this chisel tapers, so it has an angle to it. So I'm going to add that angle to this guy. Just by lining it up straight with this line here as close as we can okay there we go so that's the total angle now i need for my wedge piece which i'm going to make from a piece of walnut that i have left over i have an off cut here it's right in front of me so hopefully this should be plenty wide enough to do what i need to do there so now we're going to square this guy down top and bottom so we just want to mark half an inch deep on that so I'll mark there half an inch deep here that's the depth we want to go actually take a marking gauge to that just set that guy to half an inch there we go Right, just before we go to the miter saw, just in case that wasn't clear or you couldn't see it, here's what our plane looks like. So there's my 45 degree bed angle, there's my one to four and a half angle, and that's my chisel added on there. Measured in half an inch. There's my angle back, which I'm gonna cut in. So all this section will be getting removed, and there's the bottom of our plane. That's the opening, so then we're down half an inch again here, and there's our angle. So, we take this to the miter saw now, and I'm going to try and trench it as much of this material out as I can using my miter saw with its uh, depth stop. So, let's do that. Okay, that is our depth set there. So, 
we shall try and trench this out. So the first cut I want to do is at 45. And then we line all these cuts up. I'm just going to run multiple cuts through this thing here and uh, see how we get on. So let's do that. Here we are back from the miter saw. Let's get the camera to focus on that. So I've just put an angle of 10 degrees in the way for these cuts. Now my depth stop moved on me, so my blade went a little bit further than I wanted it to. So I have to deal with this now on the plane, but um, we can always make another one. We'll see if this one works out. So I just have to do a small bit of cleaning up in here now, flatten all this out with a chisel, tidy it all up, and we should be good to go. So as you can see, it cut a little bit deep on me there. My uh, depth stop, moved out of the way and uh, yeah these things happen but we shall soldier on Okay, that is our recess now all cleaned out. I have a 10 degree angle back in the way and uh, my 45 degree bed is perfectly flat. So my chisel will sit like this on my 45 degree bed. This is my one to four and a half um, angle piece that I had. I just, I just had to trim it back so that it would fit in with the chisel. Obviously it would have been hitting the chisel handle otherwise. But if I just set my chisel right there. So the tip of it is flush with the base of the plane and just wedge that in. You can see we have no gaps whatsoever. So that's perfectly aligned now, which is great. And uh, our chisel is perfectly flat against our bed and it's sticking out exactly the one inch, just like we had made. Now, so what I need to do now is make this or make this into this. And I need to cut, rather than having a square face here, I need to put that 10 degree angle into this guy. So I'm gonna to go to the miter saw now. Um, I'll mark this to my one to four and a half angle and uh, try and put a 10 degree bevel on this if I can. I might have to do it with the hand plane if I can't set it up on the, on the miter saw itself. But uh, yeah, I'll mark this out first, cut it out and then we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I have my piece of walnut now set up here. So I just double-sided sticky taped it to this piece of plywood. Obviously, this is not long enough to go against the fence and you couldn't hold it safely in your hand. So I have my laser now lined up exactly at my correct angle. And I've also set a 10 degree bevel in this blade. So we're just gonna cut this now and it uh, should be fairly straightforward. This should work out pretty handy. So uh, yeah, let me cut this. there we go that fits in there perfect so our angle is spot on and uh, our wedge is sitting in nicely now what i need to do is thickness this piece down now so that it is flush with the face of our plane so everything needs to sit flush on this face so i'm just going to take this to the thickness right now and thickness it down to what i need to and i shall be back to you guys Right, I have a thickness down now. So now I need to cut out a recess in this to allow for my chisel. As you can see, it can't sit in with the chisel. And I need to put some kind of a traditional design in it. So they're usually a round top on these so that you can tap them with your hammer and a little groove in here so that you can tap them back out the way as well. So I'm just gonna take it to the bandsaw now and rough out this um, shape. And uh, yeah, we should only be there. And then I just need to flush trim off the end of this guy right about there but we'll cut this first and then we can mark that so to the bandsaw let's go right 
right, there we go. Everything is nicely seated in there. I have this roughed out. So I'll take the rasp of that now, clean all that up. So I just want to flush trim this guy off right here now. And then I need to take a groove down out of this so that my shavings are going to curl out and out this way, out of the plane. So uh, let's do that next. Okay, just so you can see what I'm doing here, I need to put a slight curve in this. So I need to take this down to a feathered edge. So what will happen then is the as I'm planing, this will act as a, um, a place to relieve my chippings. So they run up off the feather edge and curl out of the plane. So I'm just going to take the bulk of it down, the chisel, just against the bench hook. bulk of the material like that and then we can go bevel down and work in a curve so like I say I want to get that down to a, right down to a feathered edge a really fine edge Okay, there we go. Everything is fitting up nice now. So now it's only a case of put a nice little shape on this plane. So there's somewhere in the front to put our thumb and somewhere to put in the back to put our hand so we don't have to deal with these sharp edges. So again, take it to the bandsaw, trim this down, put it on the spindle sander, and I'm gonna do a bit of sanding and shaping on these just to get them nicely shaped. So let's do that now and then we can test out this plane. there we go we are all shaped up sanded and uh, it feels nice and good and smooth in hand so uh, yeah let's test this thing out now so let's drop our chisel in just that it's flush with the bottom and just tap in our wedge here we go just like that. So let's go test this out. Okay, a bit of point in the voice, so it uh, should be an easy enough test to start off with. So let's give it a lash. Just tap our chisel, just so it begins to show. Nice. Tap our wedge. Okay, so there's a small bit of adjusting to do to get this to take some nice shavings. And just to get everything loose, all you need to do is just tap the back of it. And everything just falls out. So I just have a small bit of work to do on the edge of it here and uh, we should be good. Okay, we're taking some decent shavings. What I'll do now is I'll flatten this off again. I'm gonna clamp on a little straight edge fence and we'll put a rebate in the top of this piece of point. Right, what we'll actually do is have a bit of sapili here. So we might try and take a couple of passes on this. Hopefully these um, clamps don't get in the way. So uh, let's see.
Yeah, that's not bad. I'd say you would be better off mounting a fence to the bottom of this guy because the chippings are getting stuck against this fence. So it would better be have the fence there and against down here. So, uh, but it is certainly working. So maybe what I might do in a later video is do an update on this and um, add a fence to it. Uh, yeah, there we go. There's a rebate there. Let's clean up that material. Once we have it established, we can use that for our edge. Bad. It stepped out a small bit because the chippings were getting caught between the fence, so definitely a fence to the bottom of this. Anyway, this would be quite good as well as a, as a shoulder plane on your tenons and stuff. Too bad for a block of wood with a chisel in it. I reckon that works. <laughs> right guys, there we go. That was just a handy little project, a little fun thing to do. I quite enjoy making my own tools. And with a little bit of finishing, this is gonna be a good little tool. I think definitely adding the fence to the bottom is the way to go. Putting it against the fence, obviously it can't clear the chippings and that causes a small bit of an issue. But uh, it would be easy to make a fence out of a piece of timber just like this. Cut it the same width as the base of your plane. Just cut slots for your screws so that your fence can move in and out like that. And uh, a recess in the back of it so that the chisel can sit down into it. That way you can close right up on the chisel and the chisel can sit into the fence even. And you could get right down to the edge of that chisel for a really fine rebate or rabbit. So I will make a little fence for this. Um, it will literally just be cut a piece of maple the same width as the base, drill a hole in it for a screw, an elongated hole so that it can move left and right and that's your fence made. So that's it guys, another little project for you. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Again, thumbs up and subscribe if this has been useful to you. And uh, yeah, a rebate plane from a block of wood and a chisel. It works.